Pronation acceleration, that's the thumb turning over at release, puts the spin on your ball. Rotation of the forearm was built up from the initial movements. So the rotational movements of the lower half sequence up to accelerate the rotational movements of the wrist at the end. So it goes the rotation of the femur, the back leg, and then the counter movement of the trunk allows the next rotational sequence to accelerate above that. And then the trunk will rotate out of that counter movement and the arm will counter the trunk through scap loading and external rotation. And now it starts to lay back and start rotation. And then it springs into internal rotation after the trunk accelerates forward. As the arm is internally rotating, it's actually countering the rotational forearm movements of the thumb back or supinated, and then that springs it in to pronation. It's this connection and this sequencing of rotation through counter movements back into rotation gets the optimization of pronation acceleration at the end. So if you wanna learn more about that, get on the Patreon, topvelocity.net slash Patreon. I'm gonna do a great series on this.